key element of Watercare's Project Hobson is the construction of three kilometres of 3.7 metre diameter tunnel across Auckland's Hobson Bay, which is being constructed by McConnell Dow. The shaft into the tunnel is 26 metres deep, and access to the front of the TBM at 1.7 kilometres away is by a 120 tonne train. Project Hobson involves the construction of a new sewer across Hobson Bay to replace the existing sewer which stands on piles across the water. The existing sewer was built in the early 1900s and is fast approaching the end of its life. The tunnel is constructed using a state-of-the-art TBM or tunnel boring machine manufactured by Lovett of Canada. The TBM was delivered to site in five separate pieces and lowered into the shaft individually. When reassembled, the TBM total length is some 170 metres, weighing in at just over 200 tonnes. The TBM is fitted with a laser guidance system that allows the operator to drive the machine to within plus or minus 50 millimetres of the design. The TBM cutter head rotates at 3 RPM and with over 900 kilowatts of connected power generates some 3,000 tonnes of torque, more than enough to tackle the soft sandstone of Hobson Bay. The TBM advances, spoils removed from the cutting head chamber and then discharged through a screw conveyor and onto a conveyor belt. From there it's loaded into the train to be taken out of the tunnel. The concrete lining is made of six precast concrete segments and these are transported to site daily from the storage facility at Drury. Segments are brought inside the soundproof building and lowered into the shaft in sets of six, ready to be taken into the TBM on the train. When the six segments arrive at the TBM, they're turned and unloaded onto the machine. Once the excavation cycle is complete, the main propulsion cylinders can be retracted, and this leaves space to build the next ring. Segments are brought up to the segment erector one by one. The TBM runs 24 hours a day and is operated by two skilled teams of 16 men. It requires a considerable amount of dedication and expertise to run the machine quickly and efficiently. The TBM segment erector places the segments around the ring. Segments are held in position with steel dowels and bolts. Despite the high level of automation, the skill of the TBM operator and the crew underground is not to be underestimated. The TBM is an earth pressure balance machine, 
This means it exerts a pressure on the face which helps to limit settlement by controlling the excavated ground. This is the first time that an earth pressure balance machine has been used in New Zealand. Once the first five segments are in position, the final segment could be pushed into position to form a key and complete the ring. As the ring leaves the back of the TBM, cement grout is pumped into the void between the cut profile of the ground and the outside of the ring. This grout ensures that the ring is fully supported and in complete compression in the ground. As soon as the ring is complete, the excavation cycle can begin again, with the TBM pushing against the last ring built and gradually leaving it behind in the ground. The whole cycle takes less than 30 minutes. For each excavation cycle, Five wagons of spoil are removed from the tunnel by train. The skips are hoisted individually in the shaft and then tipped at the top inside the noise-proof building, which allows us to work 24 hours without disrupting the local residents. Oil is loaded out continuously during the day and then overnight the building is closed up and the operation goes on inside. Every day 40 truck and trailers take the spoil away and dispose of the material at Watercare's Mangary site. So far, over 1,700 metres of tunnel have been built. That's more than 60% complete. And at a peak productivity of over 30 metres per day, this should see the tunnel well on track to be finished by February 2009.